Hey guys, welcome back. Today, let's test out a complete YouTube classic foundation. Let's try out the Dior Air Flash Foundation Spray. This is the Dior, Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation. It retails for 78 Canadian dollars and you get 2.3 fluid ounces of products or 70 mils. I have the color 100 which was recommended by Sephora for me to be my like color IQ match. The foundation comes in about 11 shades. They could do a lot to expand their range. $78 for this bad boy. Uh, it's listed as containing 70 mils of product. I have tried out the Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation before. I have a video of my wear test of this guy up here. Um, and this one, interestingly enough, says that it contains 75 mils of products, so just a little bit more, but it has a net weight of only 53 grams of product or 1.8 ounces. So probably this has a similar amount of product, maybe like 1.6, 1.7 fluid ounces of like usable product that's not like the gas that helps it release which is still a little bit more than a normal foundation. Normal foundations usually get about one ounce of product, but being in a spray can, it's always a little bit iffy, like how much product are you actually getting? They say to shake it well, extend your arm straight out and bend the elbow at 90 degrees, close your eyes and spray it on like you're Zorro, leaving your mark. But I personally hate applying my foundations like that. I don't think they're practical for most women. I think most people using these uh, spray foundations tend to apply it to a brush and then swipe it on, which they do say you can spray it onto a kabuki brush and buff into your face so you get a fuller coverage. I'm not gonna use a kabuki brush. I really like using these really densely packed, this is a fake artiste brush to apply to my face. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Here's a look at the foundation just sprayed on my hand right here. You can hardly see it, but it seems like a really great color match for me. Just gonna spray the brush and apply to my face. Here's what it looks like applied to my face. I used about three sprays of foundation, one on my forehead, two on my cheeks, and then just kind of blended it all around. It feels really nice on the skin. It truly does feel lightweight. And I think it provides the perfect amount of coverage that I look for day to day. A high enough coverage to like cover up your redness, but it's not full enough coverage that like everything is completely hidden, but it's not cakey. It's not sitting in my pores weirdly or anything. It's also really easy to blend in because it's so lightweight and it's easy to like take it down your neck and just a really easy foundation to use. And I'm gonna set everything with my Kat Von D Locket setting powder and a big fluffy kabuki. All right, here is what it looks like powdered and ready to go for the day. So we're gonna wear test this foundation for the next 12 hours on my combo slash oily skin and see how well she does. Here we go. All right guys, here we are at the end of the night and here is how I'm looking. I feel the tiniest bit greasy, so I am going to blot here. I would definitely say throughout the day I produced like a normal amount of oil. I did stop and powder once during the day just to kind of like 
I felt a little greasy after lunch, so I just wanted to like take that feeling down. But overall, it wore really comfortable. A couple times during the day, I noticed I was like scratching my face, which <laughs> normally if I feel like I'm wearing foundation, I kind of just automatically avoid that feeling, but it is so incredibly lightweight that I just went on in and started scratching. But I didn't notice any like weird transfer or anything like smudging weird. And I think my skin still looks really nice and skin-like and that the coverage remained really well throughout the day. It didn't settle in any lines or anything. Yeah, I really liked it, unfortunately. If I was going to compare it to the Sephora Perfect Mist Airbrush Foundation, I would say I have the color Fair in the Sephora. I would say the Air Flash is a better color match. It really does just like completely blend in with my skin perfectly. Whereas this one, I think it's a little, it's not quite a perfect match like the Dior Air Skin. Obviously that's really personal, so your experience might be different. Although I am pretty sure the Sephora does have a better color range overall. I feel like they are equally lightweight feeling and they blend equally well but the Air Flash has a little bit more coverage. So overall, they really aren't that different. They kind of like the Air Flash a little bit more just because you do give that additional coverage and the color match was so good for me. Is it worth the price difference? Mm, like that's something that you have to answer for yourself. I really can't say. If I had to repurchase one in the future, like I bought this one with points that I redeemed from Shoppers Drug Mart. So I could possibly see myself redeeming points again in the future. These spray bottle foundations do tend to last me quite a while because I tend to save them for special occasions where I want really lightweight, long-lasting foundations versus my everyday kind of cakier face. Um, when I want something a little bit more undetectable, that's when I go for my spray foundations and I think this one was really, really good. It's kind of a cult classic beauty item and I can really see why. I, I would recommend it, honestly, if you're willing to throw that much cash at a foundation. Overall, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Obviously, one point off for that incredible price, like $78 for a foundation. Am I, am I made of money? Am I joking? Am I, oh, it just doesn't make any sense, but it was a delight to wear. It really looked like skin. Like I can't, I can't say anything else. Um, so yeah, I would totally recommend you check it out if you're curious about it. Uh, would I say that the Sephora Perfection Mist is a good dupe and if you don't mind lighter coverage, go with this one? Yeah, absolutely. I really love the Sephora Air Mist as well. So that is my Dior, Dior Skin Air Flash Spray Foundation review. What do you guys think? Have you tried this incredibly expensive uh, spray foundation before? I will say it, it met or exceeded my expectations. So let me know what you guys think with your experiences down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any content from me. I do new beauty videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Huge thank you to my patrons who help Let's bring these videos to you guys. If you want to help me out, check out my Patreon in the upcoming end card, or you can share this video with anybody else who might find it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next beauty video. Bye!